Hey guys, so today obviously it's going to be an unboxing of the MacBook Pro 13 inch 2020 version. <laughs> and I literally just got this like 15 minutes ago in the mail. I know everyone has a disclaimer in their video, but I'm honestly not trying to brag. This was gifted to me by my dad and I paid some of it. This is going to be for college. Um, my old laptop, which is the MacBook Air, it's 2015 and it lasted me a long time. It's just the storage is not good enough for school. So I wanted to thank my dad for getting me this computer for college. It's definitely going to go to good use. And also I'll be editing more videos, so that's good too. Oh, okay, with that being said, I got the deal, the education discount. So it's $100 off the computer. I'll put the link down in the description box. I'm not sure how long they're doing this for, but if you decide to do the education discount, you also get free AirPods, which is pretty good to me. I think that's a pretty good deal. Most went to Best Buy, and Best Buy was probably like like three, five bucks more than Apple's educational price, and also it came with free AirPods. So that's why I got it from Apple. Even though ordering it from Apple took two weeks to come because of the whole COVID thing and everything, which I didn't mind waiting for, obviously. But if you need your computer like right away and you're just getting it right before school, I wouldn't recommend getting it from online. Probably the Apple Store or Best Buy would be your best bet. So I also ordered a couple things beforehand. I ordered the USB-C hub. I can plug in my USB and my SD card and stuff. We'll list everything down in the description box if you want to get it. I got all this stuff from Amazon, except the computer obviously. So have some stickers that I want to put on my case. I just got a clear case and I'll also list that. Hopefully this one fits because I saw a lot of people complaining that a lot of their cases weren't fitting their computer, so hopefully it fits. It's just a clear case and then I'm planning on to put stickers on it, but we'll see. I might change my mind. <laughs> and then I also got these little webcam covers because I'm not trying to have the FBI see what I'm doing all the time. <laughs> um, no one heard that <laughs> no because like it kind of freaks me out that my camera is open all the time so i like that and then it comes with two of them so i'll also list that down below and then i just got like a you know basic case to put in it so i can just bring it wherever i want it has this pocket and it has like soft material inside and then it has a little zipper on the outside so you can put like little things there anyways Let's get to unboxing this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited and nervous. I don't know why But just you know looks like this box <laughs> When you come and then there's this little thing right here that you pull To open it up. So I'm just gonna pull ahead Fancy Just like this Boop. Obviously it comes pretty packaged well, I think in a thick box with surrounding and also on top of it it's in another box so oh my god I'm so excited oh my god if you guys remember my last unboxing <laughs> that was pretty pretty funny but oh my god I'm so happy now I'm gonna open this it has a little peel on the side very fancy I would think Oh my god, guys, I'm so excited. This doesn't feel real right now. Plastic gone, but it just looks like this, you know, the box. And then just take it out slowly. Oh my goodness. This looks like that. And then I got space gray because my old computer is actually the light gray. Oh, let me tell you exactly what kind of computer it is. All the details that I got this is a 13 inch MacBook Pro space gray I got an i5 processor I didn't want to spend the extra money to get the i7 cuz I thought the i5 would be pretty good to be honest my old computer was pretty good with being pretty fast an i5 processor the only thing I did upgrade was the memory so it's 16 gigabytes instead of 8 and then I also got the 512 gigabyte storage because I'm really hoping to use this all of college if not longer than that. Then it has the touch bar and the touch ID. Open it like this now. Oh my goodness, okay. It's so warm. <laughs> it's probably warm because it's been 
in the heat for a little while. Okay, obviously just no normal Apple box. It has the little charger. That's a USB-C. And then obviously your Apple stickers and instructions. And then also your charger adapter. That aside, going back to the laptop. Oh, it's so nice and small. Definitely compared to my MacBook Air. It is a lot smaller, I think. Yes, it is definitely smaller, which comes in handy, I think. If you're carrying it, it's just a little thicker. I've never had a MacBook Pro, so I'm really excited because it's something different. And then we'll peel that. So satisfying. <laughs> just gonna go and open this up. And then let's see if it turns on. Yep, it turned on. <laughs> I've seen, I've been watching so many like MacBook Pro videos and sometimes they don't turn on, but it's okay, it turned on. And then just take this thing off. But yes, I'm also doing this video because you clicked on this video, you're probably like me and you either just got it or you're getting one and you want to know every detail about it. To use English as the main oh. language, Hello. press the return key. English. English. like that trackpad. It's so nice and smooth. It looks so nice. Okay, so I'm gonna set it down over here so I can show you guys. Continue. Okay, now I'm just gonna set up my Wi-Fi and everything. Alrighty. Okay, I really like the keyboard. Like, I really like it a lot. Um, okay, I'm just gonna not transfer anything. Continue. And then I have to do my Apple ID. Alright. Now they're gonna text me a message making sure that it's me and not somebody else. Just loading. Terms and conditions. Let me just pretend like I read this. We, I don't know what I'm agreeing to, but I'm agreeing. Ooh, I should change that, that looks sick. Whoa, oh, it's a little sand dollar. It's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna put that one. My new password, setting up my account. Oh, there we go. Uh, I don't know. It's they say it's good if you're like the only person using it. So, all right, find my account just in case. Express setup. Share crash and usage storage with app developers. I'll set that up later. Oh, the fun part. Siri time. <laughs> Hey Siri. Hey Siri, open up the document folders. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Okay, that, that was that. Um, I don't, to be honest, I don't feel that comfortable doing that, but if it comes in handy, maybe eventually I'll use that. Oh, touch ID. The fun part. So you gotta put your finger over here. That's so cool. That's kind of weird to be honest, but it's cool. Technology is advancing way too much for me. <laughs> I like light because I don't use dark mode on my phone, so I'm just gonna go with light. It just, I feel like dark is too much on the eyes, if that's my opinion. Back. Yay. Okay, oh my god, we're in. <laughs> I feel like I just, like, accomplished, like, an, a password that you tried so many times, <laughs> but couldn't get. I'm gonna put on my case, and then uh, put on my webcam cover, and then also might put some stickers on. I'm not sure yet. I, I like stickers, but I don't know if I should put them on yet. I don't want to seem like a kid when I go to college, okay? <laughs> but stickers are for everyone. Who, who am I to say they're not? Oh no, why did everything download? With the iCloud, I'm dumb. Oh well, I'll just delete everything. Again. And I also got the little thing for the pad, like the keyboard. Um, I feel like that's really good, especially with now the whole COVID thing. You can just take it off and then clean it and then put it back on. Okay. Booyah. That is on. It's everywhere. To make sure it's on. Yeah, there you go. 
fits perfectly. There's no problem with me so far. Okay, so there is a model number that comes with your computer. You just gotta make sure that that model number is on the title of the case you are buying. Long as it's there, it should fit your computer. I'm gonna put on the webcam cover. You can block the light if you want to, but it's just better because then you know if the camera's on or not. Swipe it if you wanna have the camera on. And there. So now for the second part of the video, I'm going to customize everything. I'm going to make a wallpaper. I'm going to, you know, mess with the settings and change my touch bar and everything like that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a wallpaper. On this from another girl's video, Julia. Post her video down in the description box. Okay, so I'm going to just type in ocean. I'm gonna make my own and we're also going to use Canva and create an account. All you have to do is go to Google and see your MacBook wallpaper size. 40 by 900. Okay, so it should be roughly the size of your laptop screen. Okay, we're just gonna copy image, and then we're just going to, command V. You're going to move it around wherever you want, and then you're just gonna keep doing that for a while. Okay, so this is my wallpaper. It took a while to be honest because I'm very indecisive. <laughs> but if you guys like this, I'll post it on my Pinterest and you guys can use it. A lot of pictures on Unsplash that are amazing. Like the photography on here is awesome. And plus these pictures you're able to like use them without like any permission or whatever. Which is pretty cool. Just download this. And then I'm gonna put it as my background. Oh, it's my background. And now we're just going to create some folders. Julia. Okay, Chris. A website, I'll link it down below. Freebies on here that you can use to put as your folder icon. The top icons. All right, I think I'm gonna do the butterfly. So I put these little icons as my folders. I'll link her website and her video down in the description box she has a little more detailed video than I do and now I'm going to just turn on hiding on because it just makes it look so much better doesn't look cluttered at all okay so now I'm going to get that classic clock that everyone puts as their screensaver so I'm going to download this and don't get the Windows one you want to get the Mac one so allow, we're gonna allow that to happen. We're gonna also do hot corners, basically what this is. My mouse in the left corner, screen saver, so it'll come to the clock if I put my mouse in the left corner, like that. And actually what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to go to OCG Saving Ocean Life, and then I'm going to just click on this one right here. And this only works with Google Chrome, but I definitely recommend if you guys use Google Chrome to use this, just add to Chrome. What it does is every time you use the browser, it collects plastic from the ocean. So I definitely recommend it's something simple that can like help out in the long run. So then boom, it's your browser. Okay, now what I'm going to do is customize my touch bar. That way, you know, everything is right where I want it system preferences and then you're gonna type in touch bar and click on touch bar and click on customize control strip keyboard brightness screenshot if anything I'll add more stuff here but I think this is pretty much a good setup so far and also I decorated my computer with my stickers I decided to go for stickers who cares stickers are for everyone <laughs> for ocean sticker my Rico surf shop if you know you know <laughs> and then I got this little smiley face and then a pure Vita with the wave and then there's a great big beautiful tomorrow that's a Disney reference there's all of progress 
and then Fun in the Sun, Malibu, and then my NSU sticker. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.